So we finally got the final piece to be able to recreate Batman from Gotham by Gaslight. Let's talk about it. Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So as you can see, we can recreate a pretty darn good looking Batman by Gaslight with the brand new uh, shoulder piece that we got just recently. There's a few variations you could use. I'll show you what I used. I'll try to show you a couple of variations. I probably won't show you them all, but uh, I'll try to show you those I can. We are going to purchase the Victorian Detective Cowl. And as you see, it costs 50 spooky bits. Where, or where can you get spooky bits? You get them from playing the Halloween seasonal missions. There's an open world mission. And there's also an instance mission that you can play once a day. So as you saw, the style is cannot trade. So you have to farm it with the character you want to use it on. So you cannot purchase it with an alternate character and then give it to your main character. It's sad, but that's how it is. So let us consume it. As you can see, it gives a little feat. So obviously for the headpiece, I'm using the Dark Knight Call. And for the headpiece, I guess I should mention uh, the Daring Vigilante. The shoulders, obviously, is the Victorian uh, detective shoulders that we just got. I guess if you wanted to, you could go with the Abracadabra chest piece. But I, I kind of liked to have the, the sling with the stakes in it. Uh, but the reason why I went with the Lethal Zealot, basically at the end of the day, it's pointless to try to get a chest piece that has an emblem. Because the Victorian uh, detective call, the, the Victorian detective collar hides the emblem anyway. So ultimately I decided to go with the Lethal Zealot, so that we could have a few extra little knives or a little steak on our Batman character. For the belt I went with the Plague Doctor belt. There's a few others I guess that could be used, like the Wing Fury. Of course the simple utility belt could work as well. And basically any belt with a bunch of pouches uh, could kind of work, although the Robin one, I guess the pouch is all too small. You have the Raptor Infiltrator, the Cordian Fighter, Paramilitary. So there's, uh, there's quite a few options you can use. The same with the gloves. I went with the DC Bombshell Harley Quinn gloves. But you could decide to go with the Wizardly, although it's a bit uh, the gloves are a bit small, I think. And the same with the Voodoo. The Psycho Gesture. Paramilitary, the Clown Prince, so pretty much any small gloves will do the trick. And for the pants, I went with the Retro Tech. You could use pretty much any slimline you like. And for the boots, I went with the Drowned uh, Pirate. Thought these were very appropriate. Other choices could uh, include the Divestment of Rage, the Tall Trim Boots, the Spats. So there's quite a few options if you like. And of course, you have to have the Swarming Bat Aura. You have to, you have no choice. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the most important, the cape. So obviously I'm using the Batwoman cape. The Batgirl cape would work well enough. And you couldn't even go with the future Batman cape if you wanted to. So it does give us a pretty cool looking uh, Batman from Gotham by Gaslight. There is another uh, version of Batman that would benefit from that uh, shoulder piece. It's the character from JSA The Liberty Files. It was an Elseworld uh, basically called JSA The Liberty Files that happened in, during, the world, uh, during the era of World War II. So you had uh, pretty much a World War II type Batman which was uh, pretty much looking like this. Although there's a lot of clipping with the, the Hush uh, coat, so we'll try to find something else. For the face, I'm using the Sniper Goggles. The gloves are the Dr. T Dr. Fate gloves. The pants are the Cargo Pants. And the boots are the Paramilitary Boots. For everything else, we've already mentioned it. I guess we could use the Gunslinger coat instead, but uh, there is a bit of clipping as well. And it does not support a belt. There's the trench coat, but again, no belt with the character. Or you could decide to go without the trench coat and just use something like the Aeronaut with the Batwoman cape. 
Well, you decide. The JC the Liberty File comics was a pretty darn good comic. It was something uh, pretty unexpected at the time. And so it came as a nice uh, as a nice surprise. And someone asked if I could use the shoulders on this character. So here we are. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below. And also what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point. So if I don't answer a question right away, just search my videos. Odds are, I already made a video that answered your question. And that's going to be pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.